Right, hello everybody, welcome to game number 15. Probably the last chance for these high elves if they get another bad result. They're probably done. Versus Chorfs. Oh, I'm missing a claw pommer. Okay, thank God for that. And missing a bull. That's good. And missing the ball carrier. So these are some really good miss nexts here. <laughs> uh, but he does have three mighty blow, which is probably going to be enough. Four mighty blow, which is probably going to be enough to win him the game, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, it's a kick to the hands. Yeah, all right. <laughs> They're missing a lot. They are missing a hell of a lot. Four journeyman chorfs is pretty good. It's too bad that he's got loads of Mighty Blow and I'm me. <laughs> so my prediction is like four dead elves. <laughs> four dead elves and a loss. And dead team. Into movement up or edge up on the catcher to make me not delete them. Something like that. Eighteen cats. Really? <laughs> what was that with like swarming or are you just making it up? Or oh, region. I guess region. Apples. Okay. Eighteen cats is a lot. I think that's probably more than any game on Fumble. Probably. I can't remember what the most is. Right, so he's got four chores. I mean they're all really good chores though, Claw Mighty. Claw Guard Stun um, Mighty Blow. Guard stand for strength up guards, mighty. Block BT, mighty. But no, and he's got an extra, he's even got an extra shoot hand, so he's even got like a bit of a carrier. Claw pump shorts. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, so yeah, Noblar's. Noblar's getting killed by shorts, yeah. That makes sense. That's got to be one of the worst. Uh, hello, Lubu Lubu. That's got to be one of the worst matchups, right? Because everybody, everybody on the team with three Ds, snot link. Well, Noblars with block, and then the claw pom chops can kill your ogres just as easily. <laughs> so yeah, I guess that that's got a lot of potential to go very badly. Three two. It's insane. I mean, this has got to be favoured here, surely. Just leave his good players on rookies and all my good players on all of his hobos. I do like I do like high elves, but this is tricky. Maybe I'll just go with these. Also, the run for high elves is harder with Hancock and Gadamic both using them. It's also elves are also good because you can just go for like the weakest the weakest record at the end of the season. It doesn't really matter if it's. Uh, if it's pro or dark or high or wood. They're all elves, aren't they? They're all fine. I'm not going to do jump at first. Either. Oh my god, wow, he's just not protecting the ball at all. Okay. Okay, absolute mental. I didn't check his record, but obviously this guy is clearly... An absolute lunatic. 
<laughs> An absolute lunatic. <laughs> I would like a CCL playoff game. <laughs> oh my god. That Chunter game was something else, wasn't it? He does have half of his positionals. That's still, that's still no excuse for just not even pretending to care about the ball, though, is it? <laughs> Double G if I had to base the ball for Where does he go? That's the best square. annoying this break tackle isn't it that is a problem so 3-2 without a re-roll and then that tags him and that makes it impossible for him to get the ball 4 I mean, you can just dodge away and pass it, which you probably do, but still. <laughs> Hello, Muppet. He did bang out a man. I don't think he's doing the right thing at all. I think he could have protected the ball. And still banged out a guy. I think he did entirely the wrong thing. I mean, I have been Space Cadet a little bit. Sure. Sure, I'm in a bit of a Space Cadet kind of situation here. There's a big, there's a gang foul on the edge five. <laughs> there's a claw mighty and a gang foul on the edge five, and then just a random pass, and then he'll all be, everything will be all right. I've basically been space cadeted already. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, obviously he's going to dodge it before he passes. He's never going to fail it, is he? Okay, not dead. Not dead, great result. Yep, yeah, just space cadeted. Every flipping time. No, maybe he won't pass. Maybe I shouldn't have run through there to protect against the ball. I like protecting against the ball though.
is it just wasn't possible to fail it was it, it was never it was never ever going to fail wow that wasn't a pow outrageous absolutely outrageous non pow Could two plus to there. Yeah, I think that's better, isn't it? <sighs> Instant fail. No pow. Not a one. Outrageous. Not a pal. Of course not. Okay, well that was about as bad as that turn could have gone. But still, <laughs> like it was nearly as bad as the turn could have gone. But obviously it could have gone worse, could have just double one to the uh, dodge or one in nine the block. But as far as a near automatic 2D on the ball goes, <laughs> that went pretty shit. <laughs> With a 75% knockdown as well. But um... Still. Yeah, I mean, I can't not do it because I'm just going to get smashed by all of his mighty. By all of his mighty blow and tackle and claw and mighty. Uh, he's obviously just going to remove people at a ridiculous rate. There we go. Three players gone already in three turns. Never not going to happen. Like I was happy that, like I did not think he was in a desperate position that he had to completely abandon ball protection to make an idiotic foul. I didn't think he had to do that. <laughs> I think I'm still in desperate because he's just going to mighty blow every, like a lot every turn. He's got a lot of mighty blow. And he's got dirty player fouls. Which he didn't have to completely abandon ball protection to do. So he just dodges again and stands somewhere. Jim Shard. Gone, of course. Every hit's a pal. <laughs> Two of them are removals. <laughs> yep, every hit's a pal. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, this wasn't a pal, was it? It was a both down. Fair enough. Fair enough. Not every single hit was a pal. He's not moving the ball. I guess why does he need to uh... Wow. 
why would he need to? I want I want to love Blood Bowl, but Blood Bowl doesn't want to love me. I wonder what team like has the has the least variance. It would be interesting, wouldn't it? I guess dwarves are a good one. It's probably like undead for pure power, isn't it? I want minimum adversity, please. <laughs> I mean, I'm trying, Team Antero, it's just he's succeeding. <laughs> Turn four, six men out. Ridiculous. Hello, Calcium. Hello, Dwarving. Sorry, this isn't just like a total Mardi or anything. Um, I'm pretty hungry, so I'm I'm eating. I'm taking the opportunity to to eat. <laughs>
What a fucked game. <laughs> I mean, it's certainly to, uh, close to <laughs> loss in a team deletion. Yeah. I think I'm going to use the whole method, haven't I? So, now we know them. We're using the whole method. This guy goes all the way around. Three, four, five, six. Somebody blitzes with a guard there. I'm going to assist that. Bosh, that pushes him to here. Now he's three and he's five. <laughs> <laughs> so he does need all of these guys to get a 2D. <laughs> um, and then that will push him to there. Then that guy's gonna punch actually, isn't he? And then somebody, I guess this guy, will then run around to go there. It doesn't matter about dodge because he's got tackle anyway. Um, so he'll go one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Then that gives him three, four, five, six against five. So that pushes him to there. Then this guy just goes in here. And then he pushes in the second one forward. Yeah. And then somebody goes and gets the ball. <laughs> it's pretty fucked. I guess uh, it's this guy that goes and gets the ball. Okay. My kick. That probably doesn't help us. <laughs> oh no, it kind of does, doesn't it? Oh, that's actually decent. Yeah, okay. Okay, so he goes there. And then he can go in here to do the handle. Push. Um, roll the door for a no, I don't know, hundred. Everything's a hundred. Glorious. And this gives us a two D there. Do need the push though. Yeah. Got it. Glorious. Is it actually happening finally? After all these years. He's got a GFI. And then he pushes him into there, into there. Yeah, yeah. Wait, this is 2D. Yeah, yeah, this is 2D. Good. The tripwire. <laughs> Bold of you to assume I would make it to the tripwire. <laughs> Yeah, it's this one, isn't it? Doesn't matter where. Oh, there's a chance! 
glorious. Not even a tripwire. Unbelievable, Jeff. Unbelievable. Wow. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. It is possible. It is possible to roll some dice that don't fail. Holy moly. Outrageous. Outrageous dice not failing. Woohoo! <laughs> you'll, you'll see this everywhere else, guys. <laughs> see this literally everywhere else <laughs> oh, <dear. laughs> fuck off Dr. Fields <laughs> unbelievable actual successful dice rolls unbelievable he gets his level as well doesn't he well, hey amazing Amazing level up. Time for a Dakar. Because he managed to not get sent off after making seven fouls in a half. And I know he used his apple, but still. It was still mildly frustrating. <laughs> well, thanks, Ben Somnia. Yeah. That, that, <laughs> that, to me, is the easy part. <laughs> the hard part is not, is not failing dice rolls, but yes. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, the high the high kick was pretty good. Yeah, yeah. I even led to a four plus handoff, but it actually helped very well, didn't it? Very much, very well, very much. Helped a lot. I don't know. We we'll try English words. Okay, so the idea is he gets the completion. Um, no, that's good. Spanning to help meme, oh boy. <laughs> oh boy. Buff rowdy, isn't he? Oh, fuck. Okay, not dead. Will probably get fouled to death. That stops the pass. But hey, at least, at least we're, you know, yeah, it's, it sucks that he's going to get fouled. That actually does suck with the Dakar, doesn't it? That does actually pretty much suck. Very sad. I don't know if it helps a 30% coach yet. No offence. Uh, do I do the dodge? I mean, I'm not going to re-roll it. I guess I'm not going to re-roll the pickup either. I guess I'd rather fail this thing. Didn't even fail it. Outrageous. No, I did fail the pickup. Not a problem. Into the end zone. Wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Game of Vision. Yeah, it's a great quote, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, unfortunate. That was a disappointing guy to get gang foul, wasn't it? For no reason. This is proving that the Dakar doesn't work, of course, by getting random rock. Random rock into gang foul removal definitely shows the Dakar's a bad strap. <laughs> Thanks, Steve. <laughs> oh, wow, he's just straight in with a GFI blitz. Why not? They never fail. Yeah, the six man pitch invasion would definitely prove the Dakar to be a terrible strategy. Oh, there we go, cast fantastic. Why am I not surprised? It was an instant cast. I could foul the ball, but it seems a bit mental, doesn't it? I mean, I'm 
probably not going to knock him over. No, do. Outrageous. Outrageous knockdown. Eight fouls, wasn't it? I think it's eight fouls. Oh no, he blocked one time. Yeah, seven fouls. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He blocked. No, I think did he not foul with somebody else? Yeah, I think he fouled with somebody else. The turn that he didn't foul with a dirty player. Nah, I'm not. I mean, it, I'm fucked down. You've got to be a bit sensible. When you're up shit creek, is when you stop vanity passing. Also, he's on thirty-one. I wanted to pass with this guy, but I wasn't going to pick it up with him and pass it when he's got to be the screen. He's got to be the shithead guy who dies in the screen. I mean, it wouldn't land spaghetti dinner. It would shit in mine. Because <laughs> I'd get sent off <laughs> and not break armour. <laughs> That's a gym guarantee. <laughs> it's not a 100% guarantee, but it's it's close to a 100% guarantee. I'd get sent off. For nothing. Okay. Oh, I could have put a guard in there and punched him, couldn't I? That's, oh, I can do it anyway. Amazing. Amazing, guys. Amazing. Just what we needed. Got him. Oh, got him. Brilliant. <laughs> Jesus Christ. It is a base cage, but it's a safe base cage, isn't it? With two of them there. With two of them here, this is a safe base cage. Yo. Yeah. Yeah, run back and redacker, glorious. The glorious redacker. The rarely the rarely seen redacker. Oh, he got the power. Well, that's a surprise, isn't it? Didn't cause him. That is surprising. <laughs> Did Kazim? Unsurprising.
Wow, what a mental non-break tackle dodge. Could have gone 2 plus with a team re-roll. Relies on 3 plus without a team re-roll. Of course it works. <laughs> How could it ever not? Thank you very much. Oh my god, it passed through tackle. Jesus Christ. Really, game? Me and my dog, so it's okay. I guess I should have sort of that. Carter first. Oh, double one. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, I should have stood him up first. So I played sloppy, but yeah, he should have stood up and then he could have. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, GF5. Yeah. yeah, he should have just stood up, shouldn't he? Well, not able to roll some two pluses. Very sad. But yeah, that was dumb. That was just dumb not standing him up. It's annoying that I keep doing that as well. Very annoying. Like, I am playing a bit shit. Although my dice have been horrendous as of late, I am definitely playing a bit shit. Like, there's just no excuse for not standing that card up first. Just unbelievably bad. Unbelievably bad. Like, you know, I had, I had what, four chances to one in 36. But there was still just no excuse for not doing it. Just no excuse. He was never going to do anything else. So he just had to stand up first. He just had to. Just terrible. Just terrible. Yeah, I mean, so far I've I've played against a lot of turns of mistakes, but you know, makes sense that one punishes. I mean, I've probably made other mistakes that weren't punished, right? That's just an example that gets punished, but could have made other mistakes that I just wasn't paying attention. The thing, the, the thing is, it does piss me off when I, like, you know, make mistakes and lose and that. Also, it, it tied up the bull as well, right, because the bull currently would have just been able to one dodge as well. So, by standing him up, it, was, it would have trapped the bull a bit as well. So, there's lots of things. Going for it. Yeah, it's fucked. Pro proves that the deck is bad because I can stand up that guard gun. So, you know, that's nice, isn't it? <sighs> Motherfucker. <laughs> this fucking guy with a fucking dice all fucking game. Yeah, and I guess I could double. Yeah. Do I want two dice or no? Concede as the can play this one out. <laughs> Jesus Christ! I'm gonna get some food now. No augers. Hundred dollars needed for augers. <laughs>
I was giving maximum effort in my uh, in my kitchen there, so there you go. That's fair enough. I, d I don't think Zons no. Definitely not Burt's. I can't risk. I can't risk the uh, the Burt's record. It was a shame, wasn't it, after getting the one turn that it was just totally relevant and the team's dead. <laughs> <laughs> mm. <laughs> Fuck's sake, J5.
At least he had a blue head. Oh, the, the, one of the celebrating ones didn't have a blue head, though. Terrible. Unforgivable. Well, that was a shame. To finally get... To find a oh, one armor brain. <laughs> to finally get the... Uh, the one turn and then to just get banged on and lose is sad. And now the team's dead, isn't it, without the edge five? I guess even if he gets the movement, I don't know, maybe if he gets movement, but the record's trash. <laughs> oh, I thought he was going to do it. <laughs> but now with no movement and with a crap record, I think they're done. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.